riding on tires that are not filled with air? Today, the Jacksonville Transportation Authority announced it's testing them out. GATA is using tires on its Ollie 2.0, one of its 15-seater self-driving vehicles. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller shows us how it works. Reimagining what mobility looks like. We've made significant progress in terms of identifying the JTA and Jacksonville as a hub of autonomous vehicle technology and development. JTA CEO Nat Ford says Jacksonville is leading in innovation and transportation with its autonomous vehicle program. These airless tires from Goodyear will be tested on JTA's Ollie 2.0, one of their 15-seater autonomous vehicles that are also in testing. When can we expect to see these in Jacksonville? Well, our current plan is with the Bay Street Innovation Corridor within the next few weeks awarding a contract that will start phase one. And that's the Bay Street Innovation Corridor. And we will be operating a three mile segment there with autonomous vehicles, hopefully within the next two to three years. Michael Rakita, Goodyear's senior program manager, says while innovating this airless tire, his team was looking for something maintenance free and with redundant systems. What makes these tires different than the tires that I have on my so the big one is the lack of air. We have to worry about a flat tire? No, you do not have to worry about a flat tire. Rakita says its airless tire tread and hub are the same as a standard tire, but what makes this tire different is the lack of air. The connecting structure is engineered plastic. We are ensuring that the city of Jacksonville will have a suitable and safe and efficient transportation network for generations to come. These autonomous vehicles are expected to hit Bay Street in downtown within the next three years. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.